Okay. I think we got put on hold. <laughs> uh, 907, are we ready with the FSM? Uh, yeah, we got Con- Sylvia and we've got Johnny. There's Johnny and all right, good to go. All right, from the FSM uh, consulate office, uh, we do have, uh, well, like Jason said, Johnny and uh, Sylvia Elias uh, joining us uh, this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Sylvia. Un- uh, okay, unmute, Johnny. Here's Johnny. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, where'd he go? Hi, Sylvia. Hi. Good morning. Are you in quarantine right now? Right now, I'm I'm just at home, working from home. Okay, work from home, right? So the uh, guys, just to bring you up to speed, the FSM consulate office they had a couple staffers test positive for the virus. The office has been temporary temporarily uh, closed, but um, mm-hmm. they are still working on a bunch of stuff, right? And can we just start with the closure of uh, the office? Have, have we done any additional testing after the two positives uh, were found out? Um, r- right now, we're, we're uh, the two staffs that were currently uh, positive, they're still staying home, um, uh, just uh, waiting clearance from, I suppose, uh, public health. And then um, from there, then I believe that's when we know uh, when they're going to be started to report back to work. What were you, what was you guys' uh, thinking when these you had these couple positives, right? Because, I mean, it's just spreading everywhere. Were you, were you surprised, shocked, expecting it maybe? Well, yeah, I, I guess, you know, you really never know until you get uh, tested. So... Yeah, for now, even with the the rise of, you know, the COVID, yeah, uh, for me, wouldn't really surprise uh, me because, you know, with with the exposure of uh, the work that we do, yeah, we, we know this is this is uh, long coming. So, yeah, it's it's right now, you know, affecting the work that we do. Right. Mm-hmm. uh, Johnny or or Sylvia, you know, we've seen this effort by the surgeon uh, cell and and the governor's office reaching out to the mayors to help them and uh, get the word out and and encourage people, uh, constituents to uh, know their status, to please go get tested. Um, Has that same effort been made to the FSM community? Have they reached out to, to the consulate's office to help spread the word? Um, yes, right now our FSM Association, I, I guess you heard from uh, Nadine, they uh, contacted, um, I guess, so far three um, clinics and also they utilized before the recent uh, numbers. They also did uh, two outreach uh, clinics at our um, uh, place, the FSM consulate, utilizing the space that we have there. And then um, there's one coming up this this Saturday at the MTM uh, Community Center, and I I, I want to say uh, it's from nine to early afternoon this Saturday. Uh, I also posted on on you know my personal uh, Facebook page uh, just to let people know. But so far, that's the that's the. The goal right now is also to help uh, with the the mayor's council on Guam, just to make sure that you know everyone have the opportunity to get uh, tested. Right now, the other issue that you know we raise from the community is not having uh, IDs, you know, when when they show up to get tested or get the vaccination. So, you know, with, with this uh, outreach, uh, we wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, everybody has that uh, opportunity to get tested or get uh, vaccinated, uh, whether you have an ID or not. And we also been very thankful to uh, one of, or some of our community uh, stakeholders like the Triple J uh, guys, they've been helping out, uh, providing transportation for those that are not able to uh, have transportation. And not only to these uh, community uh, clinics that they're contacting these uh, 
uh, testing or the vaccination, but also to churches or wherever they can, you know, have uh, easy access to. So, but that's where we are right now. We're, we're really trying to help persuading people to do this. Yeah, it's really a community effort. Uh, well, well, thank you um, for for sharing that, and and hopefully it reaches people, uh, our listeners and our and our viewers. Uh, to give them that heads up about the community testing, uh, you said at the uh, MTM Community Center. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes, that's the one coming up right now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, somebody yes. in our one of our comment, commenters or, or in our live stream is saying that it, that it's a the vaccination clinic. It's a vaccination clinic or a testing clinic. Yeah, I'm sorry. So the uh, Interon Mayor. Uh, <laughs> well, he just said I was, he was confused. So there's no testing at Southern Public Health. Uh, it's vaccination only. From nine to noon, but uh, Janela Carrera did say that with the cancellation of the T Gen and the Northern Public Health uh, testing sites due to uh, the weather, that they're meeting to discuss uh, opening an alternate site, uh, I believe, for today. So we'll keep you posted on that. All right, and so just to get back, Johnny. So the vaccination—it's a vaccination clinic this Saturday or testing clinic? Vaccination clinic. Okay, yes. vaccination yes. clinic, four to six p.m. Saturday at MTM. Uh, or, um, at least that's I, what I, I cannot really put up the information right now, but I think it's it's not 6 p.m. I, I, I want to say sometime uh, mid morning to uh, early afternoon. Okay, yeah, just it, you know, the information is posted there. Okay, right, uh, I have it here somewhere. Oh, okay. What oh, was okay. that? Thank you. What was that, Sylvia? It's 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. It is. Okay, it is 4 Saturday, September 25th. I got it right here. MTM Community Center. Thank you for the clarification. 4 to 6 p.m., not a.m., okay? Here, what we have here is yeah. failure to communicate. I'm still that lady that called earlier threw me off for the whole show. I'm still thrown by that. Uh, so, yeah, we got the graphic, Jay. I sent it. Thank you, guys. Repatriation flights. I know they're still, even with the office shut down, there's still three... Uh, in the works, right, Sylvia? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, in terms of uh, repatriation flights, I just want to, you know, go over the summary report of what's uh, what's been done. So far for FSM, we've done 15 repatriation flights. And that's uh, 10 flights for, uh, to Pompeii, five, uh, three flights to Koshai, and two flights to Yap so far. A total of uh, 637 passengers that we've been uh, we repatriated so far, and uh, right now we're looking at uh, three really uh, close together flight dates. One is on October 3rd, bound to Yap. One is on October 4th to Koshrai, and uh, last one is October 6th to Bonape. And mind you that these are uh, these are the departure dates, departure flights, and we have to put them in quar in ten days quarantine. And the first uh, first group will go in quarantine on Thursday. Second, uh, that's the flight to Yap. Uh, flight to Koshrai will go into quarantine on Friday, and the flight uh, the group going to Pompeii will be put in into quarantine on Sunday. How many people is that? How many people for yeah. the uh, total? This yeah, week total. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, right now we're still working on final listing, but for YAP, we have <clears throat> around 25 uh, passengers right now. For Koshrai, we have around 30, uh, 32 passengers. And uh, for Pompeii, we're looking at uh, 80 some passengers. Okay. Well, uh, any other um, information or anything you want to get out to uh, the community? Yeah, maybe I'll start. Um, you know, like you mentioned, our office is still closed right now. Um, so I, I know people trying to, you know, reach us. I, I want to say, I suppose the best way to reach us right now is on our Facebook, the FSM Association page right now. Um, anything in regards to passport and you know notary services, uh, we'll, we'll try to arrange with people. 
So once we get this communication through that page, uh, we'll we'll try to work it out with you know with our citizens that needing these services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, Sylvia and Johnny, you guys are always welcome to come on the show um, if you need to get any information out to the community. And again, we do have uh, the flyer. Yeah. <laughs> It's Saturday, yeah. 4 to 6 p.m., guys. You know the FSM Association? They're doing a Johnny, vaccination Johnny, do you want us clinic. to send yeah. you the flyer? Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> we can send no, it no, over no, to you. No, no, I, I got it. I, I, no, 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 I'm going to send it to you. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. spam you. But, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chris and uh, Sabrina. I, I just wanted to say one last thing. Um, maybe if people can, you know, also get the information through the uh, 311, um, you know, information that will really awesome because I know people are just asking random questions over these uh, vaccination clinics and you know whatever they can get out there especially with you know our community uh, efforts in getting people vaccinated that will be really awesome okay thank you Johnny Sylvia Johnny did all the talking is there anything you want to say before we let you go <laughs> yeah I guess uh, I just want to add on to what Johnny already shared um, uh, because our office is still closed, you know, it's uh, it's not because we just want to close it and uh, don't service our uh, uh, citizens here on Guam, but it's really this, uh, it's for the safety of everyone. So we we encourage, we're asking our citizens to also reach out to our uh, to other agencies such as the Ma uh, Manielu Micronesia Resource Center, mm -hmm. and uh, pop, uh, uh, they can go to other public notaries to. Um, uh, notarize their documents so uh, some if not all of the services we provide they can still get it elsewhere right. so at this uh, point because it, it's really a challenge for us to uh, see them face to face right now I encourage them to uh, reach out to other agencies for FSM passport for instance they can uh, citizens can download the FSM passport online. They can just Google uh, FSM passport, download the passport application, fill out the passport application, provide two pictures, um, expired passport, and um, go to a notary public, have it notarized. There's a mailing address on the application where they can mail it to. So you know some of these things they can uh, they can do it um, outside of our office. So it's you know it's uh, it's gonna be a challenge, but I encourage for uh, our citizens to uh, go out there and um, also reach out to other agencies at mm -hmm. this point. And we do have one question here: How do you select who is going and who's not on those uh, repatriation flights? Okay, thank you. Uh, I believe in my previous. Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. sit down with you two. Uh, I, I did mention the process of the selection. So basically, uh, stranded, uh, stranded citizens, residents, or people trying to go back home to the FSM, they have to register either with us, with their state, uh, respective states, or with the FSM task force. Once they're registered, they're going to be on a master list of registry. And at that point, the FSM task force will be the one selecting based on uh, mandates and based on uh, situations. They will be the ones selecting uh, people to be on the list. And once these people are selected, they will send us the list. And our FSM consulate office here on Guam, our job is to contact and reach out to these people uh, so we can you know, provide the orientation, briefing, and uh, quarantine on Guam. And, and it is a requirement. You have to be vaccinated. vaccinated. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, thank Sylvia. You, Sylvia. Johnny, Thanks, thank Johnny. you. Hey, you yep. stay safe. You guys stay, stay safe. Be safe. Of right. course, thank anytime. You know. Yeah, and I do I do want to add in, in this absolutely beautiful flyer that they gave, if you do want to register for the FSM community's COVID vaccination outreach again, Saturday the 25th from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Mong Mong Toto Mighty Community Center, you can register online www.bitly, bit.ly slash FSM Guam number six bitly slash fsm guam six i'm gonna put that in oh, is that how you say it i always thought it was bit lie it's bitly okay, <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you johnny thank you, thank you, very Sylvia, much. you guys be safe okay, okay thank you guys okay right on and and this just into the newsroom we do have some um heartbreaking news that uh oh, yeah. the mayor's God. council of guam yeah. uh they just received notice that former